11 days in between games helped the team? Uh, it's been uh, it's been good. Obviously, uh, if we would have won our last two games, it would have been a little bit different because we would have had momentum going into the next game. But uh, I think uh, with the last two games, I think it's been good to kind of sit back, uh, reassess the team, and uh, see what we can do to improve. And it's been good in terms of uh, also just getting our mind off uh, of the game. When so, you're in a I'm sorry. When you're in a slump like that, I mean, can the next game get here soon enough on Wednesday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't call it a slump, you know, considering the fact that we've won, what, seven, eight games. Yeah. Uh, well, tough two games. Yeah, yeah, you know, so it's only been, you know, happens in the game, you know, two games. Uh, I don't think we should be uh, panicking or anything, especially when we know what we're doing, you know. So I think it's uh, the Wednesday game couldn't come any, any sooner, too. Is that a sign of a good team that you guys aren't panicking, just just kind of hitting the reset button, is, changing is, up some it is, things? It is. I think we have uh, enough good players to kind of, you know, we've been away uh, this year and we've done well, you know, and I think that's also a big sign of, of a good team, you know, uh, we've been down games and we came back, that shows, uh, that shows a sign of resilience, you know, so I think we've, you know, we'll, we'll bounce back. What do you remember about the Memphis? last game and I'm sure they're going to be ready to see you guys on Wednesday. With what uh, happened. I remember the whole rivalry, you know, uh, who has the better hot chicken and all. You know. <laughs> but uh, no, it was, a, it was a good game, it was a tough game. Uh, uh, I remember we scored two goals last 10 minutes, I believe. You know, so I think it's going to be, it's going to be intense. Uh, it's going to be, because in this league, honestly, it doesn't matter who's sitting at the bottom or first. You know, anybody can, can beat anybody. You know, I think we just got to focus on ourselves and, uh, you know, get those goals in. Why has uh, Rios been so good this year? What have you seen from his play and his transition to the forward position? Uh, I mean, I think it's always good when, uh, you know, as a forward, uh, take a midfielder to get at least, you know, uh, assists, uh, to get goals, uh, because that, that kind of helps the team moving forward. Uh, because obviously you've always had defensive defense wins championship, but at the same time you need to be able to score one goal, you know. And I think uh, Rios has been consistent enough to at least score, you know, a goal every other game or every game, you know, which is very helpful. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a team effort, you know. Uh, the guys at the back, uh, obviously we've been conceding a few goals, but uh, for the ball to get up up the field, you know, obviously there has to be a construction from the back to go forward. So I think he's been very helpful, and uh, we've got Cam too. I know he's injured, but every time he's come on the field, he's, he's got a goal. Uh, also, you know, which is which is good. You guys are about halfway through the season. Um, just one game over halfway. What's been your assessment of the first half, and what are what are you guys looking to do in the second half? Uh, I think honestly, we've uh, gave up quite a few goals, you know, and I think uh, we've. Uh, compared to last year, we've actually scored a lot, a lot more goals. Uh, I think we just need to find the balance, you know. Uh, try to, because uh, obviously you are going to concede goals, you know. But try to keep it, uh, keep them as minimum as possible. Uh, if it means we have to be two one, one zero, you know, uh, that's fine. But I think also, you know, the mentality of the guys, you know, everybody's looking sharp this past uh, week of training sessions, and I think uh, you know we'll have a good, good day on Wednesday. You got Vinny Vermeer back in the fold in the midfield. I mean, you trained with him, got to see him play at least a little bit earlier on in the season. I mean, what are your thoughts on what he can bring to the table when he's out there in the midfield with you? I mean, I think, uh, like I said, you know, we have a good group of guys. We have guys that, you know, there's been a, rota a rotation going on. There's been, obviously now we have injuries. And uh, I played with Vinny, uh, I think in Lipscomb, you know, and there was a good combination, good understanding because, uh, you know, it's always tough. It's always tough when uh, going forward to, to, to create chemistry. You know, and I think it helps when you can actually have a communication and talk about it. And I think I, you know, always try to talk to Vinny about things. Uh, and and you know, he's a solid uh, back-to-back, uh, you know, defensive midfielder. He can uh, keep the ball. You know, he can be a little, can be aggressive defensively. So I think he's going to be very helpful on Wednesday for us. Thank you, Diego. Appreciate it.